welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new, feel free to like, subscribe, and hit the post notification bell. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys what's in my gym bag. And there, this is kind of game day edition because tomorrow is our softball game. And I'm super excited. So without further ado, let's get started. So we're going to go ahead and start with this first pocket that's right here in the front. And starting here. Okay. So the very first thing I have in here is blue ribbon. And I'm going to give this to my teammates tomorrow because for the game, our coach suggested that we get like little blue ribbons to put in our hair. And I thought that was a really good idea. So I always keep extra spare blue, spare blue ribbon. Um, I also have a pair of scissors. I only use it to cut the ribbon and my tape. I use sports tape because I have a ankle injury and a tiny wrist injury but I don't normally tape my wrist but got that in there and I keep an extra sock because so I have like my normal socks and then sometimes I add an extra no-show sock onto it because um my ankle needs extra extra support especially when I'm running even though sometimes I do pinch running um so that's what I keep in the first pocket. Oh, I forgot to introduce my bag, oh my God. So I have this Under Armour gray and black bag. I love it, it's very convenient and very nice. So we're gonna move to these two pockets. So there's a pocket here and then a pocket kind of on the inside. So in the outer part pocket, I keep an inhaler and I have two in this bag actually but I keep one on the outside in case like I really need to go quickly. And then I have an extra one. This is my extra spare one. And I always have a backup snack that's very filling, which is peanuts, but most of the time can't eat peanuts, but. And on the outer outside pocket, I also always keep a pack of gum um, just to chew if I have like a small headache and actually, it does help quite a lot, so. Okay, now moving on to the that other pocket. So, in this pocket, I keep two extra shirts. And this is mainly kind of for practice. But, like, because some of the girls always forget shirts. And don't ask me why. I don't know. But this one's a tank top. It says Namaste. Um, and I always have backup shirts for me in case I, of course, forget them. And then a short sleeve t-shirt here. So I have two kinds to choose from. I'm extra, I'm always extra prepared, okay? Jeez. And in that pocket as well, I keep an extra headband and two extra hair ties. Sometimes I switch them out. Sometimes I'm too lazy to actually do that. So... Because when we're running bases and we put the helmets on, my bangs literally always go up and like, just go up. So I have to like, keep them back. Oh. Moving on to this pocket right here. This pocket I actually just cleaned out, but I have like a couple things in here. So I have the stretchy banana and this is what I mean by game day, except I kind of always have this in my bag. So this is my stretchy banana and when I'm like really nervous before a game, I just squeeze this and I literally feel so much better and I don't know why, it just, it's like a stress relieving and it actually helps. So if you guys don't know what this is, um, I, I, I should do a review on it. It gets dirty really fast though, so yeah. It smells like lemons, just saying. And I also keep a body mist in here because at all times, you gotta be smelling great. I'm actually gonna put my travel size in here to be honest. That's what I keep in there. Um, and like for game day too, I always have a notebook. Um, I always have my avocado notebook because I love writing lists and video ideas for you guys. So I always have that in there on game day as well. Yes, so I'm super, yeah, okay. Now we're gonna move on to the big pocket. And by the way, you guys, this is softball. And a lot of people after like, I found a soft, I had talked about softball previously in a different video, I forget which one, but someone said, um, so it's like baseball. I'm like, 
No, because they're actually very different. If you guys want me to do a softball versus baseball video, let me know down below and on Instagram. I'll post a poll. So if you guys want to see that, let me know. Okay, moving on to the big pocket. We have the main event, the glove. So I got this glove at Walmart for $30, and my mom has the, actually, this is hers. Mine and hers got switched. Guys, I love this glove, like, <gasps> softball player. Yeah. I actually really like this, um, and it's very different from all my teammates, so I can always tell. Um, my teammates just use the school version, and I actually went out and bought one because I really like softball, and I can think I'm going to continue it. The next thing I have is always an extra pair of shorts. These are definitely not the ones I wear on game day because I don't like these on game day. Um, but it has a pocket back here, so like if I wanted to, no, keep something. But they're really cute. I think I got these from Walmart, actually. Maybe, I don't know. Okay, so I always bring tennis shoes to practice and to the game day, but tomorrow I am basically just going to wear my outfit for game day tomorrow because I'm so excited. I'm gonna wear my festival t festival t-shirt and I'm gonna wear leggings tomorrow, but then I'm also gonna wear the tennis shoes that I'm wearing to the game. So, but I have extra tennis shoes because again, I'm very considerate and a lot of my teammates always forget their clothes and show and shoes sometimes. However, these are for more me running bases because when um, we start running bases, it gets really dirty and my new shoes are getting very messed up. So I always have a backup pair of shoes in case I want to change last minute. But so these are just the Flea, 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 Flea. Yeah, Fila. Wait. Phila, Phila, Phila. However you pronounce it, these are those tennis shoes that are like the hiking edition, except all the grips kind of rubbed off, but I still use them for softball and I still love them. So now there's this pocket right here, which I'm going to dig into and I'm super excited. So in this pocket, yeah, this is like my, not necessities, but like, a back, backup prepared that I need for game day and practice because you gotta look snazzy down there. No, I'm kidding. So we have a mini brush and I always redo my hair right before we go on. Like I'll do it at school and then it will get all messed up throughout the day. Like, I could literally like, oh my God. I literally look like a kid in my class. Okay, nope. nope. I normally just pull those back. Um, during game day, I bobby pin those back because they don't stay back by themselves. Okay, moving on, we have a little anthropology like travel size. I actually believe I'm gonna take out the big one in there because that makes my bag even heavier. But this one is small, cute, and it smells absolutely to die for. No joke, and it's not too strong to the point where people are gonna go. Hey like pass out because my friends really put on the strongest hand sanitizer in the history of hand sanitizer and during the game I start having like a panic attack because I can't breathe and I can't find my inhaler that's why I keep two um speaking of inhalers here's my backup so I have the one in the front pocket in case like and if I accidentally drop that one or lose it or just don't feel like getting it I get this one I always have to, always, not with me, but like always during game day and practice I'm not as worried about, but like, like today at practice, I didn't find this one until just now, so. Next two hand sanitizers, we have this one. This is pure natural. I know who made it. It's pure, I promise, and it's not very strong either. But it kills 99% germs. Actually, it kills 100% germs. That's what it says. Boom. Next, we have a lip balm. And that is the last thing in my bag. And speaking of lip balm, I love this one. This is mint. You guys, I am so excited for game day tomorrow. So, 
I will be ask. I'm gonna ask my coach if I can film for you guys. Um, probably not when we're on the bus, but maybe I'll do like a silent video, and then um, yeah, I'll do a silent video and then I'll do a voiceover. I'm like super excited. I'm not even joking. We already had our festival tournament, but like this is big, like better. So let's put all this back. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. It has already been 10 minutes. And it's been the best 10 minutes of my day. No, I'm kidding. Oh, yes, it has actually. Love you guys. Remember to love each other. Bye. Hey guys, it's editing Caitlin here. Welcome back to my channel. So, um, basically in this video that you'll see is basically I am going through my phone right now and I am finding a bunch of old videos that sadly got deleted on my other account so I'm gonna try to upload them during quarantine on here so you guys can maybe get a feel of my old videos and just how different it might be or even if it's the same um, I definitely sound a lot deeper than I used to um, and obviously I'm in a new room a new house a new apartment so a lot of things have changed. So this video was back when I was in seventh grade, I wanna say. So this was almost two years ago, which is crazy. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Subscribe down below, go over to my podcasts, KM Podcasts. I just uploaded a new podcast. Um, and if you guys, if any of the subscribers out there want to do a podcast with me, DM me on Instagram, floral underscore flower underscore may. Love you guys, bye.